with the Rufus. It Game won't on. be a daunting experience for either of them. So Rafferty to get us underway. Yes, two wonderful and 100. outstanding young professionals in our game, aiming for the heights. They've both, both experienced some of those heights. Tev Everett's a few more, played in the World Championships. 59. And recently, Nathan Rafferty, doing so well on the development tour, qualified for the Grand Slam, got through the group. 100. That's yeah, to that was Johnny Clayton. Yeah, he was absolutely outstanding in that Grand Slam. The group of Geller with Prize, Christoph Ratajski, and I think it was Martin Schindler, but he, he, he beat Ratajski in a winner oh, takes all clash and then missed out in the last 16 to Johnny Clayton. But he certainly announced his arrival. 58. Well, he's been on the development tour for quite a few years and his progression has been pretty good. But now it's starting to move in the right direction. And as we know, the incentives that the PDC provide 100. for our youth players is outstanding, really. Not just the prize money for this event, but what you get if you are the winner. Yeah. 10,000 for the winner, 5,000 for the runner up. 60. They've both already won a Grand Slam spot for 2022. If Nathan Rafferty wins here, he will qualify for the World Championship. Everts here looking to pile the pressure on in the opener. If Everts wins, he's already qualified through the Pro Tour, so it gets a little complicated. He would be nominated as a qualifier for winning this, 55. which means there will be three spots up for grabs in the PDPA. Final qualifiers for the Ali Pali taking place in Barnsley tomorrow. Everts looking at another treble. Oh, that's unlucky. That was in and out. It looked like Easy. it was. Nathan, you so a chance 28. for Nathan. One to eight. Should start on treble 18. Now treble 20 for the ball. 63. So Everett, first leg against the dark. One dart at tops. Well, that was convincing Seven. right in the middle. Single leg set to throw first. Uh, you are the purveyor of rules, or you pretend to be. <laughs> Explain why the world youth criteria is 16 to 23. And just break off as Evitz oh, follows up oh, winning the leg with a oh, super 180 from Super 10. So if it's 16 to 23, why is Everts playing when he's 24? 58. Yeah, it's quite simple, really. It's on the 1st of January of that season, whatever age you are, because it wouldn't be right if you could play half a season and then stop when you get to the age of 24. So that's the rule. 59. It's whatever age, whatever age you are on the 1st of January. It was 24 of the in August. 97. He seems to have been around for quite some time, Ted Evans, he has, doesn't he? Yeah, he's played in the Grand Slam himself, of course, and of course for Ted, famously, lost to Fallon Sherrick at the at the Alley Pally. And how gracious was he? I was well. going to say, outstanding young man. I mean, 58. That was a measure of the man on, on how he took the defeat. He stood up and accepted the defeat, accepted that Fallon was the was the better player and he earned a lot of plaudits for that didn't he he certainly did he really did he's won so many of the secondary tours one of the season he won something like seven or eight incredible and the standard in those tournaments 60. as we've seen with a lot of the youth players that we do see on tv nowadays it shows you how good he can play 40. Right. It difficult for himself here, Nathan Rafferty. And 180 from Everts in this leg, proving the difference. A bit of a slip there. Oh, Ted Everts, I remember, I think it was back in 2017. Hit a nine data on the Pro 44. Tour as well. Nathan Rafferty, 170. Super darts from Super Ted. <laughs> 100. Ted, you require 100. Took out the opening leg beautifully on tops. Can he do it in two darts here? Ah. Trouble 19 is the only route. 
to leave double 19. Easy one. So a chance here for Rafferty to strike back. Yeah, it's a nervous moment for him when you just started the match. You want to get your first leg on the board. He went for trouble 10, hit the trouble 15. Double 12. Yeah, he's oh, well got on the done. second lane. Superb recovery there from Rafferty. And all the pressure on Nathan Rafferty as well. Third lane, Nathan to throw first. And the tantalising yeah, prospect of going to the Ali Pali to play the World Championship if he wins. If he loses, he doesn't go to the Ali Pali. It's as simple as that. And that's a, that's a heavy weight to carry. 140. Yes, on young shoulders as well. Only 21. Yeah. Ninety-six. Those previous winners, Aaron Monk, James Hubbard, Michael Smith, Keegan Brown, Max Hop, Corey Cadby. One hundred and forty. Sad to see him no longer playing. What a prospect he was. A, a real waste of talent. Back to back from Dimitri van der Berg, beating Josh Payne and Martin Schindler with top plus averages. Luke Humphreys. A winner over Adam Gavlas and, of course, Bradley Brooks beating Joe Davis. It was in a deciding leg last year. That's right. Nine and some of the names you mentioned towards, certainly the more recent ones, look what they're doing now on the Pro Tour. Uh, Dimitri winning a major. Luke, look at the progression he's making. It's life-changing. Said right at the, at the start, it really Maybe can be life-changing. Should go down for it. Well, didn't have to go down for the... Normal route, which would have been down for the 19s with Ted Everts back on 2 1 5. Easy six. Good recovery, remembering Everts missed one dart. Difficult one it was at double 19 for 2 0. Oh, major trouble to leave a finish. 41. Maybe you require 40. To go ahead, Rafferty. Are you sure on the third lane? Well done, Nathan again. 2 1 it is, Nathan Rafferty, the young man from Northern Ireland. The first hold of throw, and it has to have put him in good stead, not just playing in the Grand Slam recently, but playing so well. So he's not gone up on that stage there like a, a rabbit in headlights, so to speak. He knows he can perform. He's got through today's qualifier. 100. Yeah, the, the 11th staging of the, well, aren't we all? Don't tell him. The 11th staging of this World Youth Championship. I mentioned Aaron Monk and James Hubbard. They won the first two. They built, They both beat Michael Van Gerwen in the final. Are yeah. Aaron and James still playing, do you know? But Aaron still plays here and there. He's played on the, uh, he played at Q School. 140. And uh, had a go at the Challenge Tour. I don't think James is at the moment, certainly not within the PDC. Well, there's a Q schools coming around again in January. 60. At the moment in Milton Keynes and in Germany. So that will be interesting. Yeah, things may change, of course. 83. Yeah, in the, today, 32. Playing down to the last two, Everts beating Neil Zonneveld, Keelan Kay and Kevin Dirtz in the last 16 quarterfinals and semi-finals. Rafferty uh, beating Jack Wake out of Gablas and Gert Nenches to book his spot here. He can really put pressure on here. This is brilliant from Rafferty. 138. Did you require 150? Oh, great setup there. Really puts the pressure on Ted Everts. Looks like he's going down the 19 route. Can't do it now. So Nathan Rafferty to put a little bit of daylight. Ted just checking his score, making sure. 130. Maybe you require 40. Good from Everts. Pressure on Rafferty. Oh, and he's he deals with it superbly. It's three legs on the spin for young Nathan Rafferty. And more importantly, it's another break of throw. 
Biflake Nathan to throw first. to six. Yeah, he's looking good, isn't he, Stuart? He doesn't look phased, does he? He's keeping his concentration and focus. Not making any mistakes. Scoring pretty solid. 100. And when he's getting to the double, he's not missing. I think the, 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 the phrase I used at the Grand Slam, talking about the likes of Brooks and Rafferty and... Uh, the Rodriguez brothers, especially Rusty Jake, no fear. 97. They play with no fear. Um, the fact that he came through that group under enormous pressure to knock out Christoph Ritajski and, yeah, all right, he lost 10-2 to an informed Johnny Clayton, didn't he, uh, in the last 16. But for those who didn't know before the Grand Slam just how good Nathan Rafferty is, they do now. But Everts needs to fill it. One and does fill it for his second. Yeah, there's no, one that, for him. Yeah, there's no doubt in my mind whatsoever, Stuart. There's Rafferty looking to follow the maximum, but Easy not fight. quite. He's playing regular at a very high standard on the professional circuit that the PDC provide. Certainly puts him in good stead for these kind of moments. 98. Well, it's development tour, challenge tour. Pro Tour, isn't it? With the safety net of Q School if you need it. And of course, Rafferty, by winning the development tour, got to the Grand Slam and he has a tour card for next year, Nathan Rafferty. Going to get a dart. Everts at the ball. 101. Nathan, you're looking. 130. Similar kind of finish in terms of hitting a treble and a single. And he needs the ball. 96. Teddy required 25. Well, this is a, a turning point in the final. Well, it's an important leg, that's no doubt. Held it all together well, didn't it. he? Last start in hand, the prospect of possibly going 4-1 down. To throw first. Great temperament. Super Ted, keeping his head. Ninety-three. If you are just tuning in to ITV4, this is the final 96. of the World Youth Championship between young Nathan Rafferty from Northern Ireland and Ted Everts from England. It's the first to six to be crowned the world champ. Coming up, the final of the Players' Championship 96. will feature Ryan Searle in his first ever major TV final and the inimitable Peter Wright, who's finally reached the final 58. at this event for the very first time. That's the can, but this one it seems too close to call. Oh, a good chance for Ted Everts on throw here. To grind away, Let's see if he can get back 44. to 3-3, but a slip there, going for treble 18. He won't be happy with that. Good recovery from Rafferty. 70. A couple of loose darts there. I'm sure that the closer we get to that finishing line, there will be some pressure and stress. But this is wonderful darts from Teva Everts. Ooh, One of each. Superb from Everts. Ninety-three. Did you require ninety-seven? For three-three. Time on his side. Might not need it. 85. Well, unlucky, but he knows he's coming back, so he's got to keep his concentration and focus on the double. Again, just the last couple of legs. Nathan's just got a, a little bit scrappy. Are you sure on the sick play? Three all. Seven playing Nathan to Rafferty Rupert. still has the dart. That double eight, last dart in hand in leg five. The most important dart 100. of this final so far. He's kept Everts in it. 
Yes, it's those moments in matches. We see it so often, don't we? We've seen it quite a lot this weekend. 99. Sake the learning curve there is for all these young men. Rafferty with his first maximum and he needed it. Yeah, he did after losing the last two legs. He just gone a bit astray with his scoring, but that certainly get him back on par. You look at, at, at Everts who's gone through the year playing most of the Pro Tours. Just about. Well, he has. He's won his place through the Protor Order of Merit at the Ali Pali, come what may, but only just. It's been a. Sometimes it's a. It's a real hard slog, isn't it? And you know, when you're losing on the Pro Tour, to keep going back, you keep getting knocked down and getting up and having another go. And, and that's what Everts has been forced to do this year. It's the highest level. Whether you're playing in the first round or in the final on a Pro Tour. 98, Teddy Ripon, 134. But he's got there, whatever. Rafferty isn't. Rafferty has to win here. Oh, what a dart this could be for Ted Everts. Double 16. Oh. 118. Well, Leaving that would have been a game changer. Just a nudge back in front. No score. He's bust. He's had three darts. And all of a sudden, after being 3 1 up, it's Ted Everts with a chance to take control. It's all about keeping your composure. Hey, and he does. No emotion, though. He knows he's hey, still he got work to do. But after being 3 1 down, it's now Everts all of a sudden, who's favourite to be crowned World Youth Champ. Nathan Rafferty with all the pressure on his shoulders of knowing he could be going to the World Championship tonight if he wins and he isn't if he loses is it going to prove too much for the young man 21 year old 97 yes, as you mentioned all those Pro 2 events that Ted Everts has played in this will put him in good stead at this precise moment and position in the match 100 well, he did say, didn't he, in the in the interview with with Ned before, that he had he had more experience. Sixty appears to be coming into play. You can't underestimate the experience that he has over the last few years. One hundred ninety-four average as well. Very decent. It's almost par to what he does on the pro tour. Sometimes it will win you a game, and quite often it won't. Superb. 92. Leaving a finish after 12. Is it going to be four consecutive legs? 95. Did you require 32? It is a dream. Going to be shattered for Nathan Rafferty. As Ted Evans makes it 5 3. He needs one more Rovers. to be crowned the World Youth Champion. Nathan Rafferty has to win all three legs. One that may help get him on the way. Yeah. Wonderful dart for such a young man under extreme pressure. Remember leg seven, yeah, fighting away. He is, and leg seven would have really hurt when he had those darts at double 14. And 140. Couldn't take them. That would have been to lead 4 3. He's now trailing 5 3. He's got to clean up the next three. Easy fight. Well, it's still doable. He has to believe. First thing is win on throw here. 81. And then make a real attempt against the darts. Because Ted Everts will feel the pressure throwing, no throwing for the match. No doubt. Only natural. 100. Nathan, you require 100. 
Double ten. Oh, it's a superb leg. Twelve data. Brave as well not to go for top top. She knew exactly what he was doing. Twelve data. Hundred check out. Back to five four. But now it's in the hands of Ted Everett. What would he do for another 12 data here? Oh, what a cover shot. Oh, if you're Ted Everts now, you are cock a hoop. Brilliant from Rafferty. Both of them under enormous pressure. The World Youth Championship is on the line. And it seems Everts won't be denied. 120. Look, like it hit the bottom wire, didn't it? Still a wonderful visit, though. It's making Rafferty have to work. Oh, great adjustment there. Easy five. Well, both of them have put on a real show. Again, to the victor, the spoils, who will it be? 96. He'll be happy with that, I can assure you. Ninety-six. Teddy Rigoire, 151. Six starts from 151. Just set it up. Oh, he's doing just that. Trouble 14. Oh, is it the trouble oh, nine? But that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. That is okay. Make no mistake. That's fine. But this is brilliant oh, oh, oh. pressure. 125. I think he went for the 180 Henry then. Walker. I think he did. <laughs> Just to put the pressure on. Why not? But this is to be crowned the champ. Ted Everts. On the verge of victory, and Ted Evans is the winner. He is the world new champion 2021.